Hello guys, in this video, I'll show you how to construct a involute of an equilateral triangle of side 50 mm in the AutoCAD 2007. So this is AutoCAD 2007 and the question is how to construct an involute of an equilateral triangle of side 50 mm. For this, first we have to construct an equilateral triangle. So you can go with uh, polygon or you can draw directly by using line command. So here I am using line command. So I have selected the line command. I am drawing a straight line. For it to be straight line, I am pressing ortho button here. The ortho is on, so you are getting straight line. So this is a 50 mm line which I have drawn. It is coming very small. So one thing I will do, I will press Z enter, E enter, so that the line is obtained a little big or it can be shown very big. Then then I'll select another line here and also I'll draw another line here. So basically I have drawn three lines and one in the same line. Once I'll select the line and use the rotate option at this point I'll select the base point and since it is anti-clockwise direction rotation I'll give just 60. So basically I'm drawing the second side of the equilateral right. Now I'll select this one and I will use the rotate option at this point i want to rotate in clockwise direction so minus 60 degrees so basically i have drawn a 60 mm side uh, sorry 50 mm side equilateral triangle so again get enter e enter now i'll zoom out a little bit yes i'll zoom out a little bit and at this point i'll draw a straight line from this point i'll draw a straight line of length uh, three times because it is having three sides i'll take three times of the side that is 3 into 50 it is 150 mm so 150 mm straight line i have drawn escape z enter e enter so that the line is uh, the triangle along with the perimeter the perimeter of the triangle is drawn here this is the triangle and the perimeter is started here now once this is finished simply select this one use copy option and from here just paste it here this is one time and at this point i'll have two length before copy it select this point paste it here and again paste it here so this is another thing now you can see this whatever the perimeter is obtained here whatever the perimeter is obtained here will be of three times of that length that is nothing but 150 mm so this one will be 50 mm this one will be 100 mm and this one will be 150 mm so basically involute is something which is like uh, there is a string which is a wound between the, or wound uh, around this figure and that is unwound so when it is unwound and it is in a, without any elastic nature if that string is taken out then that is how it will look like. so let us draw circles here simply we can go with circle here like this and select all this and use trim command so this one and this one you can trim it out and next step is select another circle take this point as center and draw an arc like this and select this line select this circle and select this line and use trim option and trim it out so this is also finished and finally select the circle command and select this one and use like this again select all these things and use trim option just trim out the auxiliary so this is how you'll get an involute for the triangle i hope you understood there is a another option of drawing the triangle that is instead of going this way you can directly use polygon here so you can use polygon it last number of sides the number of sides is three enter then it will ask specify center of the polygon but i don't know if it is in circle radius and x-circle radius of the polygon so therefore i'll press e enter because edge i know the edge that is side i know so e enter then select the first point select the second point it last second point distance is 
50 mm which I have taken here. So 50 mm. So in this way also I can draw. And once it is drawn, again repeat the same process. But here what happens is that you need to draw a straight line here because if that straight line is not drawn, you can't copy it because here you see, uh, if you select it, everything is selected. So you just can't copy and paste it. So if you want to copy and paste it, you need to draw a straight line here like this from this point to this point again. Then, then use copy command and select that object, press enter and from here base point you paste here and then you can draw it. And again same if you want to draw here again you should have selecting this point to this point you need to draw a line and use copy command select this object press enter from this base point you'll paste it here as well as you'll paste it here and then regarding the last line that is perimeter line from here to here i'll draw a straight line enter select this copy it i need to paste it three times so one two three three times i'll paste it once this is done, again as usually you can go with the circles and trimming. So if you don't want to go with circle and trimming, there is another option that is drawing an arc directly. So in the draw command, in the draw toolbar, you'll have a arc. In that arc, you have start, center, and end. So start, center, and end. You select it. This is the starting point. This is the center point, and this is the end point. Again, repeat it. Draw, arc, start, center, end. So select this is starting point, this is center point, and this is end point. So repeat it again so that it will be finished. Arc, start, center, end. This is the starting point, this is the center point, and this is the ending point. So in this way also you can draw the involute of a triangle. So that's it.